I'm edge banding a picture frame that I cut out on the CNC. And I've got my Clis clamp over here, holding it down. And Fast Edge, which is our edge banding at Fast Cap. Uh, this is Russian birch or Baltic birch. I always get the uh, maple Fast Edge to match birch. It does a beautiful job. And what I like to do is I like to make it simple. A lot of people overthink edge banding. And what I've learned over the years is it should just be down and dirty. The quicker you are and the less you think about it, the better it actually is. So what I like to do is I'll overhang just a skosh, just a little bit there. And I kind of exaggerated that. And then what I do is because, you know, this isn't a fine piece of furniture, so to speak, I will just line up one side with my finger nice and even. And as I'm pulling, I'll pull the tape out from underneath and I just get it going here. And then once you get the hang of it, you know, edge banding is one of those things where the more practice you have, you know, the better you get. And it gets to a point where you don't even really have to think about it that much. A lot of times I'll pre-cut this so I'm not having this big bundle, but for today's illustration, I just kind of wanted to show you how easy it was to put on. And so I'm just going here. Now, this is not PVC edge banding, this is natural wood. So what I want to do before I put any pressure on this is I want to cut as close as I can. So I'll use our flush cut nippers here. And here's the problem with being left-handed. I'm just going to cut this off right there and right there. Nice and flush. I'm going to come over on this side, same thing, just put it right here, nice and flush. I got a great corner right there. Now what I can do is I can take our roller, roll on, I like to just put nice steady pressure. Some people will kind of do this, and what I found is I just like to put nice even pressure. I just do one, two, three, something like that, and you're good. Now. When it comes to trim it, there's our quad trimmer, which is great. I actually really like this for PVC, but I grew up using a chisel and a blade. That's how I always trimmed my edge banding. So for me, I love this thing. And you just kind of find your angle. And what you do is you'll notice if I go like this, it's gonna push it away. So what I do is I kind of just kind of cut into it and just kind of get it there, there it goes. And what you want when you're doing natural edge banding, just like when you're using a plane or you're doing anything where you're shaving wood, is you wanna try and get this to curl. So what I'm doing, the longer the curl, the better, in my opinion. So as I'm pulling this, I'm just putting pressure in. And so you want it to kind of curl up on itself. Now, if you ever notice that you're getting resistance, there's a couple of things. You might have too much of the adhesive building up on the blade, or maybe your blade isn't sharp enough. Or what could also be happening is you're fighting the grain. So if you're fighting the grain, really simple, try coming in on the other side. So over here on this side, I know I'm gonna come out over here. This is probably the biggest thing I've ever learned with edge banding. I wanna back cut, careful not to cut myself, kind of just doing this for illustration here and you want to back cut in is because as I'm pulling this, just like when you're routering or you're joining, or you know, you're using a joiner. When I get to the end, if I wouldn't have done that back cut, what might happen is it might blow out the edge. So here it breaks away and I have this beautiful, I mean, it's almost perfect all the way across. Really easy. Like I said, don't overthink it, just practice, practice, practice. Now, what's really important, before I do any more work to this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put more pressure on it. And there again, I'm just gonna go one, two, three, okay, maybe four times, okay? And you wanna get nice pressure on there because that's what activates that adhesive. Now, got the uh, edge break here, I'm gonna take the edge break, and I'm just gonna go across, I like, once again, one, two, three kind of a thing. And now the edge is broken. And what you have is you have, except for the dust there, you've got a perfect edge banding job. And you can do it every time. <laughs>